How's it going you crazy kids in YouTube land? Today I wanted to talk about gratitude. Something gets bandied about a lot. But I wanted to share with you a really important distinction that helps me in my day to day. And gratitude is a feeling. I think that when people go through their gratitude list or stop and reflect on all the things they're grateful for, where I find it's a lot more effective is as you think about it and tap into that, you get a feeling. And I'll be honest with you, there are some mornings where I'll, I do a lot, a lot of my gratitude ritual, if you want to call it that. When I walk on the beach and I'm alone with my thoughts and I get a chance to get reflective and introspective and just go through my list of all the things that I'm grateful for. And there are morning, some mornings where I get emotional. And that's when I know I'm really in the zone. That's when I know I'm really feeling it and I'm connected to that. And, and that's where the value is as far as I'm concerned. You know, the uh, ancient Greek philosopher, Epicurus, I think, if I'm saying correctly, and I'm not going to quote him exactly because there's been sort of different versions of it, but the gist of the quote is to be grateful for what you have today because all the things you have and experience at the moment are things that were just a wish, things you dreamed about. For me, I remember when I came home back in 1991, I've been away for a long time and I arrived home without a home. I remember walking past the house I grew up in and going, wow, I can't go there anymore. In fact, I was homeless. I had nothing, not a job, not a home, no real prospects. It wasn't good. And today I think, wow, I've got a lovely home by the coast. I have a job. I'm pursuing a career as a speaker, so I'm indulging in not one but two passions. A wife who loves me and is devoted to me, children, my health. A lot of things we kind of can take for granted when we give gratitude for, like health. But when you sit down and make a list of all the things you have, I can guarantee you that for the vast majority of you, there'd be people looking at you wishing they had what you do. Now, I'm not saying that by feeling the gratitude and getting into it that that means to rest on your laurels, have no ambition, have no am no drive. What I'm saying is that it's just important to feel that way because when you do, it gets you out of your rut. If you're ever feeling in a rut, sit down, write a list, tap into it. Just think about how fortunate you are to be where you are, to have what you have. With the caveat, there's always room for improvement if you put in the work, of course. All right, love you crazy kids. Have yourselves a good one. Please remember to subscribe, ring the bell, like, comment. Tell me about what you're grateful for. I'd be curious and interested to know about that. Uh, all righty, love you crazy kids. Please be nice to each other, but more importantly, be nice to yourselves, and I'll see you when I've got something else, hopefully relevant to say. All right, see ya. Mwah.